What happens when a professional Valorant game goes on so long it breaks the server? Only TSM and Gen G know after their historic match at Challengers 2. Kusta though, he replies with two of his own in the one versus four, but Wardell is there again. 1919, we go <laughs> once more. I can't, I'm starting to lose track. Eight overtimes. After going down 9-3 in the second game of the series on split, TSM looked like they would be heading to the lower bracket, courtesy of Gen G's brick wall defense. New signing and man of the series, Nature, shut them down at every turn, and TSM needed to make a big move if they didn't want to have their redemption arc ended early. But TSM's senior members stepped up. In a monster defensive half of their own, Wardell and Sabrosa came up huge, netting clutches and multi-kills that sent the match into Valorant's longest overtime ever. Wardell's on the off, and Nash with this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Four kills for Wardell. Yeah, this, this round's over. Pack it in. TSM fans yelling in the chat right now. This is what they came for, the Wardell show. Genji's defense was a standard default with two players on each side and one covering ropes. TSM responded with something more spicy, sending three mid for a suffocating pincer attack. But Genji's star man nature was immovable during TSM's second shot at attacking, shutting down what seemed like a successful execute with a huge play. Nature's just sitting tight. Doesn't need to play any more aggressive than he needs to the pre-fire spray for Levi. Nature just gotta has to wait. Finds the frag just down a bang, has to re-guess his aim, rethink his life choices. But Sabrosa found a highlight of his own, once again playing towards TSM's flank heavy style. Waiting for the ramen peak, sees Sean, sees the shoe first, but he might be anticipating the swing, he wants the flash first! Oh my goodness, Sabrosa! Leaves some for the rest of us, almost sees the last player, and they're starting to run for B, but they're ready, they're waiting in heaven, waiting for them to pop out, they're stuck! Zero point clears the back of back site. So they're gonna re-clear Sabrosa, but he's still here waiting. He gets another one. Three. Oh my goodness. He gets the fourth two. He's gonna go for the content play, but it doesn't work out. One versus four now for Nature. TSM were the first team able to break the stalemate at the third overtime, thanks to Wardell. Landing a devastating shot on a jump peaking nature, the kill gave TSM a chance to surge into the site, setting up sight lines for Wardell that would punish Genji when they went for a retake. Although Genji's last two members were eventually able to dig out TSM's Star Sniper, the damage in the round had already been done. It's the break in the chaos that you said TSM needed. Wardell now dropping down, sees the TP, finds an easy pick just down to Mikael. Shot's good from range though, but not enough to take out three more players of TSM. But the match continued as Genji returned the favor trading blow for blow as they attacked the B site. Hazed was set up for a flank through Garage, but Nature realized what was happening just in time, finding the kill before the TSM Lurker even knew what hit him. And just like that, the status quo was reset, as both teams struggled to push through the ironclad defense. TSM almost nabbed round 33, after Wardell found two kills and had the jet ult unlocked to keep Sean at bay. But the raise was just a little too quick. He's gonna wait for them to pop in. As the flash out, catches one. Can he find another one? Nope, does eventually fall. And somehow the pain chills. Now it's just down to the op. 1v2. Finds one through the flash. Now it's shot chasing him down. And another round for Gen G. In the bottom of the sixth overtime, it looked like Gen G had it in the bag. Clearing A for the plant, and with Wardell and Bang needing to travel cross-map, defusing the spike was a tough task made even more difficult after Wardell was taken down. But despite criticism throughout the tournament, Bang's cool head kept TSM in it. Wardell is going to be peeking this alone. The gravity well through. The swing! Oh, it's good for GMD! Just down a Bang. He's good for one. One more player. 1v1. Controller v controller. Time. This could be it! Shots good for Bang! Bang's clutch unlocked him for the remainder of the game, even securing a 4K that propelled the match to a mind-boggling 2020 scoreline and the ninth overtime, which caused unexpected issues. Before round 41 could begin, a technical pause was issued that lasted for 10 minutes. The reason? Valorant wasn't made for games that lasted this long, as custom lobbies shut down after 90 minutes, no matter the result. So, despite inaccuracies in the overlay, the issues were resolved and TSM and Genji continued the never-ending match. The pause did nothing to break either team's strong defense, at least not right away, 
as both squads were able to turn away overwhelming attacks with impressive multi-kills. Nature dropped down. They don't know. Like this? They're waiting. Good shot there from Nature. Now they wrap around the pillar. They know Wardell's back. Sight or Mikael's down. Now it's just down to Nature and he finds it. But round 43 and the 10th overtime brought with it another change to this match's set formula, as TSM pulled a perfect bait and switch that left Gen.G reeling. Down 3v5, Bang and Sabrosa took out Omen in ropes, causing the rest of Gen.G to rotate, including Sean's Rays, who looked to push out of heaven and into Mail for a flank. But Wardell cut him off, opping Sean and leaving B open for the taking. Still going to be watching Heaven just to be sure that if you starting to come through, Gravity Well, of course, going to stop that. They can play for this post plant. Hi. Now, of course, they have to start to act. If you starting to come through, spraying in. Now the push coming in from Sabrosa. He finds one. Can he find two? With the round win, TSM had an advantage they hadn't seen since round 29, needing only to win on defense to secure split and send the series to the third map. But TSM didn't let the pressure get to them, and an aggressive move from Wardell gave his squad the info they needed to choke Genji out in Garage. It's going to be a very troublesome hit now, and they're going to have to try again. Zero point coming through. Levi backside, the spray through. Just doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how. Frag backside. As you see Bang here laying in wait, Genji looking real Shit. rough here. What comes down to this? The bros with another one. Nature falls, and there it is! After 10 overtimes, it was finally over, surpassing the previous record holder of God Squad vs. Velocity by four rounds almost a year after it was set. And that's not the only record that was broken. Nature secured the most kills in a North American match at 49, overtaking as soon as pop-off performance against V1. The defeat broke Gen G's will, and TSM picked up the deciding game, sending Gen G crashing down to the lower bracket where they soon suffered another heartbreaking loss to Rise. But the epic encounter spurred TSM onto greatness as they smashed their way through the rest of challenges in dominant fashion. Check out these videos for more Valorant content.